Hey guys, how's it going? And today I'm going to be doing some more British campaign on the mission Gallipoli, which is the second mission, and I'm going to be doing it on normal difficulty. Uh, in this mission, there is a lot of dialogue, so I won't be talking much until after the beach landing. So we're just gonna hop into the mission. Everyone alive, sir? How are you? A bit wet, but I'll survive. We have to look around, search for soldiers from our company. Seems that we've landed at the wrong spot. Sir, there are soldiers from the first platoon on our right, but there are just a few of them. Where are the others? Damn. Looks like our gunners don't know how to shoot at all. I bet the boat with our captain was hit by one of our own artillery shells. Silence, Sergeant. We have to meet other soldiers from our company. The Turks will soon come to the beach. We need to hurry. Chaps, are you all right? Yeah, actually no, sir. Looks like our platoon is all that is left of our company. It's war, soldier. You're still alive. What was our task? Clear the beach! Mark the targets for our ships, sir! Does anyone know where are the explosives and smoke bombs? No, sir. Smith and McMaster loaded the crates. They remember where they are, sir. Here are my orders. Find the explosives and smoke bombs. Report to me as soon as you find them. Any questions? No, sir. Yes, sir. Move, James. We don't have much time. We have to find those the dumb, what they're called. Uh... Look, here's one, that torpedo. We have to take it with us. Yes. Bangalore torpedo. Right, Bangalore. We have to find at least three sections and we will make a clear way to hell. We have to find smoke bombs as well, right? Yes, let's put them in our pockets and move on. Torpedo found! We must take it! Ah, another one. Grab it and move in. Now, we have to find the smoke bombs. Let's search the crates. We need at least five of them. All right. We found all we needed. Let's report to the lieutenant. Well done, men. Now use a Bangalore torpedo at the passage. We can use them at any of the passages that are blocked. Sergeant Bagler, do you have the wire cutters? Yes, sir. We'll cut the barbed wire at once, sir. May I report, sir? The Turks will probably send patrols. The observer positions have been spotted up on the rocks. We must be on guard. Of course, Sergeant. Be careful while clearing the passage. When the Turks show up, do not shoot first. Return fire only. Okay, guys, so uh, I just completed the first section of this mission. I'm just gonna give you a little bit of beach view here. So there's a bunch of like shell craters. Um, I actually noticed uh, this uh, soldier here, the soldier type. It's like the Anzac, but like um, in the traditional British uniform, I guess, at this time. Uh, see, like this type of uniform. No colour rubber. Or this one, let's see. But uh, I've never really noticed or seen this uh, unit type here. Anyway, so we're just going to continue with the mission. Seems like some men just came from this side of the beach. It says there's vehicles here, but there's actually like, nothing here. Anyway, so we're just going to uh, keep advancing here. We have to put the bank of the over here. There's an MG up here, so we're going to have to destroy that. 
Uh, oh no, mind. We are at the passage, setting the Bangalore to be done. Take color, fire in the hole. Hooray! We've cleared the passage. The enemy guns do not allow our ships to move any closer to the coast. Your soldiers have to destroy them, Lieutenant. The field gun was destroyed. Okay, so uh, we just completed the beach landing section of this mission. Look like our men have destroyed the guns. Send in the rear forwardsmen. So now I'm just gonna. I just got a bunch of new reinforcements. Uh, there is a Stokes mortar on the beach. Doesn't have much ammo, but it is enough to clear the trenches. The guns were destroyed! The enemy machine guns pose a serious threat to our soldiers. You had to destroy them! Okay, I haven't... I've never noticed this uh, Stokes motor this here, but I'm going to use it now. And hopefully we can take the trench uh, system really easily. Okay, so I just organized my new reinforcements into a, like a kind of a invasion force. They're also behind the cover now, so they can't really be shot. Plus the houses are down. So now I'm just going to bombard the main trench system, hoping to destroy a lot of their main sections where most of their men are found. There's also a bit of enemy resistance over here, uh, it's a mortar. So what I'm going to do is just get these guys and we're going to advance into centre here. And capture that mortar. Um, there seems to be... I think there's an NG around here somewhere. No? No NG? Okay. I don't remember playing this mission, there was uh, MG in the trenches, but... I don't know, maybe it like randomly changes each time you play the mission. I'm not sure. Okay, so the enemy mortars down. Seems like there's a lot of equipment for me to capture around here. There's an NG uh, mortar and another NG. There was an NG up here, but it's gone. Okay, what's in this crate? It's more round, so we're just gonna put them into uh, the mortar. Or trying to. There we go. There's this guy. He doesn't have any, so I'm just gonna get the Stokes mortar. I don't know what the AI's doing. I re armed the mortar they have up here. So it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna get this mortar. And then take it over here. 
So now I'm just gonna get these guys and we're just gonna push up to here. They are already here, they've already somewhat killed some uh, Turkish soldiers. Okay, I'm also just gonna keep pushing up here. I'm just go get on these sandbags, kill them more crew. Okay, it's gone, it's gone. Go to get this uh, unit, push up to this uh, flank. Go to get this unit and then capture this trench over here. We'll also go to get our artillery strike from here. And then go to get these men, use them up. Seems to be one guy ambushing us. He's gone. Okay, this trench should be ours very soon. I think they have enough mortar, so I'm going MG. Um, I'll go through MG, wait. Yes, yeah, so MG. Okay, I'm going to use this squad, and we're going to take the left flank up here. Hopefully. There's mortars up here, I'm just going to get to target this MG. I'm going to get this spawned. Here. Going to get this squad and push up to center. Going to get these guys and keep bombarding that MG. Okay, um, it seems like we are resisting over here. I'm just gonna keep pushing. There's a guy here, I'm just gonna have him killed. Okay, I'm just gonna keep pushing up here. Um hopefully I can take up take out this MG. Just gonna push around it. I can also capture this field gun over here, which I'm going to do. Okay, then she's down. Just gonna place these men in the pool. Uh, you may be able to hear my dogs in the background. 
Don't take this out. What was in here? More sound. Going to repair this. I'm going to move up the Stokes Mortar to uh, center. And then I'm going to push these men to here for the cool in new infantry squads. <coughs> okay, so now I'm just going to look up to the left flank and then I'm going to take over the whole left flank and then just to regroup quick. I have one more artillery strike left. I don't really need it. Don't go to new up these men. Or this man here. Okay, the artillery gun prepared. So I'm just going to move it up. Not going to make it high yet, but I will once I need to siege this little fort. Go call in more infantry. Okay, now we now we touch this little like uh, fortified hill. Just gonna keep pushing. There's no need to really capture any equipment around here. Um, I'm, I'm not going to take the boat gun, I don't need it. Since the last part's pretty easy, and plus Ottomans don't really have any armoured cars, or at least I don't know if they do. Actually, I think, yeah, I think they have like some armoured cars, I'm not really sure. I'm pretty sure they made their own little armoured car. But I'm not sure if it was uh, used. I'm going to buy another infantry squad. These guys are stuck behind a little saw thing. Okay, I'm just going to do a little charge here to get this MG or to destroy it. Destroy it. Very soon, the Turks will regroup and try to retake the shore. Consolidate and hold these positions until reinforcements can land, and then we will kick the enemy out of the fortress. Everyone take positions here. Bring the field guns and machine guns. Prepare for a defense. Look at those crates. The Turks might have left something useful for us. Everyone into the yard. Take your positions. So here we probably have to defend for like two minutes, uh, five minutes maybe. So I'm just going to get a little defense here. The enemy counterattacked. Hold on, reinforcements will land soon. So we just took this position. 
to spread out these men along the wall. Oh, they're coming! Oh, Lord, save us! I still don't see any uh, possibility of me manning this artillery gun. It's not really needed, and I don't really want to waste time just manning it, getting ammo for it. But I'm just going to keep the shrapnel. Oh, yeah, shrapnel. Fire it over here. I know there's like some MGs on the walls of this fortress. I think there is. I'm pretty sure there was the last time I played this mission a few months ago. I don't really know what AI is doing here. Alright, so I was going to play with this um, realism and sound mod, but then it must, uh, I think it messes up the mission script and the uh, mission reinforcements and units and everything. So I didn't uh, have it on, but it changes the sound uh, effects and everything. I think it also changes the voices of the soldiers. Yeah, just wipe that whole unit, I guess. That one shot. I don't think this fortress is very modern to this time. It looks about late 1800s, maybe. Um, I'm not really sure if this is actually a real um, fortress. Obviously, the landing and battles are real. Like Lipley. But I have to research this fortress. I just doubt it was made in the um, 20th century. Since uh, the castle walls are all in ruins and everything. Even got little bits of moss on it. As you can see. So this attack should be ending soon. Maybe we have to man these positions. Anyway, it should be over soon. It's a new timer, so I can't tell. Anyway, this is the sort of thing that kind of ruins Battle of Empires, I guess, in a lot of missions. It's because, like, you just defend for, like, ages. Um, I think even in the fr first French mission, you'll be defending for about 20 minutes of just the same men 
there's no armored cars or anything, it's just infantry of the same size waves. But logically, uh, I think. That is all? Looks like the Turks haven't got much infantry now. Move forward, into the fortress. I think they move. All right, chaps. Did you hear the order? Forward! We have the whole castle full of Turks ahead. Reinforcements have landed. It is time to attack the fortress. Okay, here is the fortress, guys. This is a bit old, it's in ruins, everything. It's even got some scaffolding, and I don't know why there's like a bit of wall here. There's always like a little section of wall on the end, which isn't complete, I'm not sure why. But it doesn't really matter. So they have like a little trench system inside the wall, that's the second line of defense. Uh, they have some huts. Uh, it's a mosque, yeah, it's a mosque, yeah. So it's like a little, uh, settlement, I guess, a little town, city. So anyway, back to my point, um, so I assume they would copy and paste soldiers in waves. So, each wave they send at you, there will be always, uh, soldiers in the battlefield already, so I think the like theoretical point behind it would be um that the soldiers build up the enemy builds up and then they would have more men and then the ai would keep attacking something like that i think the men of war ai works when attacking is when if the ai has more numbers they will start attacking but if they lose a lot of men they will just keep retreating until they get reinforcements I'm not really sure about how it works on this engine, as it's modified, like a lot of the Men of All games, the modified Gem 2 engine, yeah. So this shouldn't take long to finally crush the Turkish here. So I got some more reinforcements back here. They're not really needed, but I'm just gonna send them anyway. Just to increase the pressure and make their defeat faster. So here they are just losing the trench system now. They should be gone pretty soon. Okay, it's gone. So now we control the trench system. They have some mortars back here, I think. This uh, little water tank. Uh, maybe they were just grenades. So grenade rifles. I thought they were firing mortars at me. Still, so these can get under practice. I'm not really sure. Okay, seems like I will need these men after all. Going to keep pushing here. I 
think there's, yeah, you can go, I think in multiplayer you can go up from these buildings over here, this one and this one. You can actually go on the roofs, I think, if I remember. A little bit of lag here, I think. Oh no, shit. I think it's building. So we're just going to keep pushing over here. I'm going to push. The Turks are running away. Good job, Lieutenant. The landing at Gallipoli was not an easy one for us. Through the shrapnel and bullets, tearing our hands on the wire and stones, we kept moving forward. Only a handful of soldiers from our company managed to survive. But we completed our objectives and established a foothold at Gallipoli. Okay, so that was the uh, first part in the Gallipoli campaign on this game. Uh, I think the next two, or next mission at least, is based on Gallipoli. More deep in land. But uh, soon I'll be doing a giveaway on uh, this channel. Uh, I'll be giving away two game passes, guest passes, to Red Orchestra 2. Or they last three days. I'll make a video on it and then all the details of what you need to do. But I hope you guys enjoyed uh, part 3. Well, part mission 3 will come soon. Probably in a few days or tomorrow. I'm pretty sure it'll be tomorrow.